What's it like to, to be back and uh, to christen the, uh, the new ballpark? Well, it's wonderful uh, uh, to see the new ballpark, uh, see the energy of the fans, and how you know what a beautiful day. Great day for them. Great day for us. Really enjoyed it with Mike. Mike and I were having ball coming in. Uh, he wasn't worried. I was worried whether I was going to throw a strike or not. So. Once I rudely embarrassed myself last time I was here throwing at the other ballpark. Was this your first look at the park? Yes. Did you practice? I like it. You, you bet your rear end I practiced. I went over to the winery the other day and I threw it for about 20 minutes. You did. It didn't, I the most silly did. did. Really? Absolutely I did. Oh, that's great. I went over and I, when I paced it off and I started it about, and I said, and I went back to 60 feet and I said, there's no way. And it looked like how much? Oh, it looked like it looked like a Yellowstone Park for Christ's sake. <laughs> I did, and I said, "No, I'm not starting here." And I went up to about 40 feet and then worked my way back. When I saw you in the club, and I warmed up in the bullpen too, by the way. No, you're kidding me there. Oh, absolutely, I did. Absolutely. Did they have the radar gun working? Uh, it didn't go that high. Were you surprised they asked you to, to open City Field? Well, I just they, were they going to ask their other Hall of Famer? All right, I'm not. Uh, let me go back and look. <laughs> I'm going to search my memory now and we'll, we'll answer the question as intelligently as I possibly can. Uh, Oops, I forgot. Or you forgot when you asked the question. Did you? <laughs> did you? I haven't lost that word, have you, Maybe Tom. Doc couldn't, too. A lot of people were thinking it could be Doc. So. Is he a Hall of Famer? Yeah. Doc. We're working in the present tense here today. Uh, if journalistically, we're in present tense. Is he a Hall of Famer? Doc is not a Hall of Famer. Thank you very much. You answered my question. Yeah. Is there any jealousy on your part that this, you didn't get anything nearly like this at Shea? No, 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 no. Too many. There's so many good memories at Shea Stadium. Are you kidding me? Too many great memories. Too many people. Too many uh, for Hodges, to Harrelson, to Cleon Jones, to uh, you know any and all of them. Too many wonderful memories. And it's it's not it's not about the stadium. When you're a player, it's not about the stadium. You know, you can say it's about the stadium, if in fact it is a, something like Fenway Park or, or uh, Wrigley Field or something that's been there. For a thousand years, you know, if it's been there for a thousand years, then maybe get it right. Yankee Stadium, etc. If, if you understand and, and appreciate the history of the game, this is a great place. What does it mean to you? It's too cushy. The, 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 the locker room is too cushy. Come on. What's the best thing about the park so far, what you've seen? I <clears throat> um, thought the dirt was beautiful. And I'm, I'm not being facetious. I thought the dirt was beautiful. In the infield and the mound, too. I thought it was beautiful. I think it's, uh, it, it, you know, the, the, the grass is all, they, they had a tough go with the, with the drainage system and all that, everything else at Chase Stadium. But I thought, the, I thought the dirt was absolutely spectacular.